Okay then guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the LiDAR sensor on your iPhone. Now at first you should know what it actually means, how you can use it. Well, at first you should know that it is on the back side right here next to the camera. So I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but next to, next to the camera lenses there is the little circle which is like blacked out and this is basically the LiDAR sensor. It is available on the iPhone 12 Pro and all the later Pro models including the 13, 14 and of course 15. And there are some different apps which you can try it out with, and this is going to be the theme of the video. Just mostly third-party apps which are going to be used with it. The first one is going to be called Polycam, which I actually played with myself recently, and it just allows you to like scan the environment and use the LiDAR sensor to measure the distance of stuff and of objects from you from the actual camera. So let me show it to you right now. In case you want to show someone how the um, LiDAR sensor actually works, you might want to use this app. So this is the environment, but I'm just going to hit X and show you my past examples of things that I played with. So, for example, I'm just going to tap on that. And this isn't mine, actually, but this is what you can personally create. Like, yeah, you can move around, like, uh, homes and everything, and you got, like, 3D models. And the point of this is that... You can only measure it with the LiDAR sensor because the sensor knows how far away each of the items actually is. So without it, you would not be able to create such cool models. But in reality, I need to show you that um, it looks a little bit like this, like a little bit messy and stuff if you're not perfect with it. So yeah, you definitely have to be perfect, but it's, it's just an example of app uh, which uses it, for example. So yeah, basically... Um, a different way to look at it is that uh, it, you probably used it without realizing it for taking photos. So even if you just open up the Photos app normally and um, there is the portrait modes and cinematic stuff and everything, well, iPhone is using the LiDAR sensor as well in this situation to measure the distance of the object, for example. You can see the background is blurry because it noticed an object, so it can use the LiDAR sensor in this regard as well. So iPhone with the sensor is likely going to be better than iPhone without it. Also, another thing would be the measure app. Like a lot of people saying that uh, with the iPad or what, whatever, if you use the measure app, which is built in on the iPhone, the measure, it obviously needs to know the distance of stuff. So you have to just bring it around and like move it. So it just gets an idea of where stuff is and you can actually just uh, go ahead and like measure the distance of whatever and you can see it. But with the lighter sensor, it's much easier and uh, the iPhone can uh, get it done much more effectively. So yeah, there are plenty of different uh, apps. It really depends on what you are doing. And it can also be uh, useful if you're doing VFX. You can scan a large area quickly to create a shadow catcher. Uh, photo photogrammetry is a lot of better quality. So if you want to be real quick, LiDAR could be useful in that regard as well. But yeah, as I say, uh, for example, I heard some, some of my friends saying that if they want to show off the functionality of the uh, LiDAR sensor, they download different apps for example the one called rc racing so rc club ar or something like that because ar obviously uses the lighter sensor the most so this is one of the apps that people are referring to when they say that they actually uh, use the lighter sensor with so you basically get a, like an like an rc car model which you can use uh, and play with in real life but it's just like a mixed reality where the car is actually moving across your room or something and for that you 100 percent need a lighter sensor so many different apps to play it with there are also like different 3d scanners i heard of this one as well so let me just show it to you right now i'm probably showing you too many examples but i believe that you should uh, know about uh, though so uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it but this is the 3d scanner which allows you to like scan your face and stuff again using a lidar so definitely very useful stuff go ahead and try out those apps to get an idea of how it works and if you really want to just try using the app and actually cover the lidar sensor with your finger and see whatever happens like as it struggles to measure the distances and everything so you can understand better how it actually works so yeah i'm gonna wrap up the video right now hope you found it usable and like very useful 
Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Definitely check out Fox Tech Educational Platform, which is going to be linked down below in the description. For now, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.